Tell us about the uh, shutout. I mean, in a lot of games this year, your team has outshot the opponents, but this time it was 29-16 on, on shots, and you faced a lot of shots. And getting a shutout in a semifinal game is very difficult, but you were able to accomplish that. Um, I mean, it, it feels great. Uh, I mean, my team is like like right beside me. Uh, I couldn't have done it without them. It definitely feels really, really good to uh, finally win a game when you're getting outshot. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of emotions. As the game wore on, did you were you feeling any more pressure? Like you know, we're not getting any more goals, and you know, we gotta. Um... Uh, no, not really. I mean, I always get a little nervous towards the end of the game if I still have a shutout going. So probably with about nine or ten minutes left, it was I was getting a little nervous, but uh, you know, I knew if I kept doing what I was doing, I'd be just fine. It appeared like your defense did a really good job of keeping them from the outside. They didn't just use too much of the shots you faced. Oh, you had a nice angle on. Yeah, every shot I was, I was seeing everything. They did a great job at uh, clearing out traffic, and um, yeah, they, they, uh, they were the ones that should get a lot more credit than me for the shutout. Did you, did you even see a rebound in this game? I'm not sure that. Pretty sure every shot that came, they cleared it out. Yeah, they were doing a great job of that. They were pushing guys out so I could see, and they were clearing them out so either I could cover them or our forwards could come and get them. Now, Colin, when you hit that first shot. Um, you were a good ways away from the goal. Did it just look? Uh, did it just look good from where you were where you were um, skating, or um, what was what was going through your head at that moment? Yeah, I mean, I knew that we just had to skate down the ice and get pucks on that, so I just kind of threw it and it went in. And getting that uh, that lead, you know, so early in the game, how big of a boost was that for you guys? Yeah, that was big. I mean, our main thing is get on them early, and I think that helped a lot. Were you intending to really uh, put one in? Or just just trying to throw it into the zone. I mean, every time we shoot, we expect it to go in. So it, yeah, I mean, I was expecting a goal, but I mean, that was good to keep it in. Uh, and on the second goal, uh, uh, what did you see there? It looked like it was a, kind of a scrub in front of the net, and it just kind of trickling right to your stick. Yeah, loose pucks in front of the net, it's important to bury them. Uh, we weren't prepared to skin them up high uh, over the goalie because he can't probably can't see it's off a rebound. So uh, just bear it down and score the greasy goals. Besides getting off that quick start on the goal, what that uh, five minute uh, penalty kill, how big was that? Yeah, it was huge. I mean, our PK has been doing, uh, going all the way back to the nation, so our PK has been uh, just really impressive with what we're doing. I mean, Warren said it. Our defensemen are clearing pucks out of the zone. We're staying disciplined. We're doing what we need to do. Uh, defensively, we've run a very disciplined PK, and we uh, pre scouted pretty good. They did exactly what we wanted to do. And, you know, we got a little puck luck today. Let's not get crazy. I mean, yeah, you need a little bit of that. You know, but anytime you can walk out with a 2 nothing win and stay side, you got to be pretty fortunate about that, no matter what it looks like. Now, talking about that misconduct penalty, what what were the circumstances of that? You know, they called it differently all Cle in Cleveland all year. You know, they would call it boring, and they would or they would call it rough. They kind of called it three tiers in Cleveland. They would call it as a two, then they would call it five, boarding possibly, and then they would call it five and a ten. I don't know what did it warrant uh, five and a ten. I don't. I don't think so. But that's that's the way it was called, and uh, we had to live with it. And we were without one of our top defensemen for 17 minutes of the first half of the game, so that was a another hill we had to climb. And you know, the kids did a great job. Just adjusting the different officiating. Would you say that that was why there weren't that many shots? Because you were killing penalties a lot. Of yeah, I mean, the first period, I think we killed what five plus two. We were killing right. nine nine of the 15 minutes of the, of the period. We were killing penalties. You know, but it's no excuse. I mean, the second period we came back, I think we had a couple um, a couple good looks on a power play, and I don't know exactly if I can remember the numbers while I was seeing them, but you know, we still weren't getting any shots on goal. I mean, I don't think there's been a game where we haven't we had three periods of hockey where we haven't had double digit shots. Uh, I don't remember that, but you know, these guys can probably tell you a little bit more, but uh, we're just fortunate to get out of here. We talk about how you, you, you like to grind soccer, there could be some ugly goals, and it could be a grind, but talk about the defense uh, and able to really limit quality scoring chances. Yeah, I mean, we've been doing that. Our D's been doing that. Our D's been doing that all year. Um, you know, I mean, we're, we, we always talk about how we uh, we push from the goalie out. Uh, can I answer that like you did in that one press conference? I can't answer it for me. Uh, <laughs> it's carpet, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Um, you know, we start with our goaltender and move out through our D, and uh, and that's kind of what we did again today. I mean, you know, anytime you throw a goose egg up in a, in a state semi, 
you guys are pretty fortunate about that. Our defense played well. Um, you know, we had an injury late yesterday, and we dressed a, a kid that's never stepped on the ice before. Uh, you know, during the state tournament run, we dressed a JV guy in emergency, and uh, he actually had a couple shifts. So we saw 16 out there. He, uh, we had a late scratch with, uh, with Nate Ward, who uh, suffered some, some stitches in his foot and couldn't go. So the fact that they did that, you know, and spent 17, you know, sat, spent 17 minutes in the Thirty, thirty in the box. Really proud of our team. Absolutely, these guys. Just, you know, yeah, we're really proud. Of them. What happened after that second goal that you know suddenly the scoring seemed to seemed to halt? Um, well, you know, with our team, and I tell these guys this every day. I mean, the two goal lead is, is a bad lead in hockey because one, the team that scores the two goals kind of takes their foot off the gas a little bit, and the other team turns up the gas. So we were expecting them to push hard, and they did. Fortunate for us. Uh, Uno down there um, pitched, a, pitched a shutout, so we're pretty happy about that. Kept us in the game, but honestly, today he's a ring of Barbara Sidney. Durham hasn't given up a whole lot of goals this year. Is there anything that they do specifically defensively that makes them tough to score against? No, they, you know, they played a strict 1 2 2 system against us, as we've seen all, all year long. I mean, they, they hustled today. I mean, they were they played with a heck of a lot more desperation than we did, and they, that was a very good hockey team. Set to one two two for the most part the whole game it's kind of what we thought expected that they would do and you know fortunate enough for these guys to get early i mean the, you know the second goal that we scored uh sean steckel got the assist i mean he, he abused their defenseman down low came out put the shot on goal and skated and cleaned up the cleaned up the rebound i mean sean steckel made an unbelievable play on that goal did you feel like they turned up the heat at all in the third period i, I know they had some more abs- shots but... absolutely i mean our team you mean the drill on offense. Oh, drill. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, they're playing with desperation. It's, it's lose and go home. So you're going to get a huge emotional push from the other team. And we kind of weathered that a little bit. I mean, they, they kind of took it in. They, very similar to what happened last weekend with the the first, you know, four of the first five minutes of the third period. Uh, they took those, you know, took those two penalties and kind of, you know, swung the momentum a little bit for us where we could maybe, you know, get ourselves through that first five minutes without, you know, that's normally when they're going to give you that huge push and then you're going to get it the last five minutes. So we were fortunate that they took a couple penalties and you know, put us on MVP. Uh, coach, thoughts on St. Francis now on the state <laughs> championship game? What is it going to take uh, to get the team down? Uh, you saw that. I mean, they're a, they're a high-flying, high-octane team. I mean, we've uh, we've been here before with them. Um, they've got probably five very talented kids on that hockey team, and they like to go. They're, they're a finesse team. They're a speed team, and they score goals. So, you know, we're going to have to get back to work and go do what we did against the Nations. So we're very similar to Ignatius. So we're going to kind of approach it with the same similar uh, way that we did with Ignatius, and hopefully we can uh, do what we do well, which is impose our will on people in big games. And then, you know, that's kind of the, the effort we're going to look at. We're real good friends with those guys in France. We've had some, some memorable wars down here.